Now let us consider an example. Subscription received for the current year 50,000, previous year 2,000 and next year 3,000. This is the same problem as before. Life membership fees are 60,000. Now life membership fees, when a member pays life membership fees, it's a one-time fee which is being paid. So this is not really treated as income for the year. Since it is income for a long period of time, this life membership fees is often capitalized. It is taken to the balance sheet. <clears throat> so life membership fees may be capitalized. And there are different ways of treatment of the life membership fees, <clears throat> which we will discuss later. But for now, let us say we capitalize the life membership fees. Donation is 25,000. Donation again, we could treat it as an income. But if donations are of a nature which we get regularly, it could be treated as a revenue. But if it is a one-time donation of a huge amount, then we could capitalize it. And if donation is received for a specific purpose, it is capitalized and only when the purpose for which the donation was received is fulfilled, only then it is transferred to fund. <clears throat> Sale of furniture is 5,000 with a written down value of 6,000. What does that mean? That means we sold furniture Sale of furniture is a capital receipt, capital item, therefore should not find its place in the income and expenditure account. However, if there is a profit or sale on sale of furniture, sorry, if there is a profit or loss, if there is a profit or loss on sale of furniture, such profit or loss would appear in the income and expenditure account. Income from souvenir is revenue. Exhibition collection is revenue, rent paid, honorarium, exhibition expense, all revenue items. So let us just mark subscription received for the current year is revenue. Previous year should not come. It is revenue. Subscription is revenue, but it relates to another year. So if this will not be considered. We shall consider this. Next year, it's received in advance. So that is like a liability and it should go to the balance sheet. Life membership fees is going to be capitalized. Let us take donation as revenue. Sale of furniture will not come, but there is a loss on furniture and therefore this 1,000, only 1,000, the loss should be reflected. What else? Income from souvenir is revenue in nature. Exhibition collection, money from conducting an exhibition is revenue. Rent paid is revenue. Honorarium, token salary, revenue, exhibition expense. So 40,000 less 20,000. 20,000 is the net income from conducting the exhibition and we will take this to the income and expenditure account. But construction of a club room is capital item will go to balance sheet. Club room, benefit of which will be received for a long period of time. It is an asset and therefore will go to balance sheet. Electricity, again revenue, purchase of furniture is capital, cash in hand, opening and closing, income expenditure has nothing to do with it, they are assets, could be reflected in the balance sheet, may be taken to receipts and payments, but not in the income and expenditure account. Furniture on 1st Jan 50,000, on 31st Jan 45,000. You already had sale of furniture. You have to see whether this tallies. If there is any other difference, maybe it could be depreciation. We'll prepare the account and figure this out. <clears throat> Next, we have investment opening of 25,000. It's a 6% investment. And this balance was there on 1st January. But we didn't see any interest income. Therefore, this must be income which is earned but not received. Since it's income for the year, it should find a place in the income and expenditure revenue. So here we need to check for depreciation. Outstanding subscription at the end of the year, 5,000. That means this is subscription income which we have not received. Therefore, 
it should be shown in the income and expenditure account. So how would we prepare the income and expenditure account? Let us just see. Two, if I take, <coughs> sorry, expenditures will come on this side. I'm not writing the heading here. We will look at a neater presentation later. <coughs> but what would be our expenditures if we see we've started with income here, subscription. Subscription, how much? 50,000 for the current year. Previous year, we won't bring it in. Next year, we won't bring it in. Life membership fees, we will capitalize. Let us take donation. I have left some space here for subscription because I knew there was some subscription which is outstanding. But I'm going in order. Subscription, we have to, and donation, we have 25,000. What about sale of furniture? Sale of furniture, we've written here 1,000. What is 1,000? 5,000 we received. 6,000 was the value. Therefore, there was a loss. Loss on sale of furniture of 1,000. We need to prepare a furniture account also. We will do this to check if there is any depreciation. <clears throat> Income from souvenir. Souvenir is like a magazine which has been published in which there is advertisements are placed by different people. And we've got souvenir. Income, 12,000. Exhibition collection is 40. There was an expense of 20. So let us write this on the income side. Exhibition collection. How much? 40,000 less exhibition expense 20,000 giving us a net return of 20,000. <coughs> Construction of club room. No, sorry, we have missed out something. Rent paid. So rent paid is an expense that would be 60,000. What else? Honorarium is paid 20,000. Exhibition expense be considered. Construction of club room capital, not in income expenditure. Electricity, income expenditure, it's an item of expense. Purchase of furniture, no, but we will prepare a furniture account. Cash in hand, not considered. Cash at bank, not considered. Furniture, you have an opening balance. Let us find out. Balance brought down is how much? Furniture, 50,000. Then we purchase furniture. So furniture account debit to bank. You would probably get this from the receipts and payments account. We purchased furniture of 10,000. We sold furniture by bank. How much did we receive? We received 5,000. And the remaining amount is loss, income and expenditure. I've written income and expenditure. This is loss on sale of furniture. 1000 so 6000 written down value has gone out of the furniture account what is your entry on sale of furniture bank account debit to furniture with the amount received and then what was the written down value it was 6000 therefore 6000 1000 more has to be written off so profit and loss loss on sale of furniture to furniture 1000 if it was a profit the entry would have been reversed. That is, we would have said furniture account debit to income and expenditure. <clears throat> what else do we have? Furniture, we have prepared income expenditure. We have a closing balance of furniture. So, balance carried down. I am leaving some space. Balance carried down is how much? 45. So what is the total here? We have 60,000. To get 60,000, balancing figure is depreciation, should be depreciation, 9,000. Because if there was furniture purchased or sold, we would have got that information from the receipts and payments. We've already got information. Purchase was 10,000. Sold is book value of 
six thousand that has been taken care of. We have a closing balance of forty-five thousand. Therefore, depreciation must have been nine thousand. What is depreciation? It is an expense. Therefore, that should come into the income and expenditure account. What else is left? This is done. Investment six percent investment. So, what do we do? Investment will not come. But if it's a six percent investment which we held from the beginning of the year, we are entitled to an interest income of six percent of twenty-five thousand. So, let us say accrued interest, interest income. This accrued interest will also be shown in the balance sheet. Six percent of twenty-five thousand or thousand five hundred. <coughs> Is it over? Not yet. Outstanding subscription at the end of the year is five thousand. So our income that we received is fifty thousand. Outstanding at the end of the year, outstanding subscription another five thousand. So totally we are talking of fifty-five thousand subscription income. Subscription income fifty-five, donation twenty-five, souvenir twelve, exhibition collection less expenses twenty, interest income not earned. One thousand five hundred loss on sale of furniture one thousand rent sixty honorarium twenty electricity twenty and depreciation nine thousand. If we balance this, we will probably get a surplus, which is nothing but excess of income over expenditure, and it is taken to add it to the capital fund. In the balance sheet, let us look at a neater presentation of this. We have subscription of fifty thousand received, five thousand outstanding. This will also go to balance sheet. Donations, souvenir, exhibition collection, less expenses, net income is twenty thousand. Income from investments again not received. This was outstanding. This will also go to balance sheet. What about the expenses? All the expenses: rent, honorarium, electricity, loss on sale, surplus. This is not there. Depreciation is nine thousand surplus. This is excess of income over expenditure of three thousand five hundred. This surplus. This also goes to balance sheet. And is added to what is called the capital fund. We don't have capital in income expense in 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 a not for profit organization. They have instead what is called a general fund, an accumulated fund, or a capital fund. Let us also look at the working for depreciation. Either we prepare a furniture account like we did and find out the balancing figure, or logically. Opening balance we had of furniture fifty thousand sold, so six thousand went out, right? And then we purchased ten thousand, so ten thousand came in. So net it was fifty four thousand. But closing balance was given to us in the books as forty five thousand. Therefore, the difference must have been depreciation. Nine thousand is what we took as depreciation. 